so it is lighting time uh, oh shit right okay first things first I'm gonna go get petrol um, and then today I'm gonna be tinting my rear lights um, I've, I've, I did it to my old car and it just I don't know it just gives it a bit more of a um, sportier kind of stealthy look some people might like it some people might hate it but I'm doing it anyway so um, let me just go get some fuel and then I'll catch up with you in a minute right my fuel should go up if not I've just wasted 20 quid right sorted okay right okay next stop is uh, Halfords I need some glass clean because my windscreen is filthy and some um, tint spray so yeah let me get to Halfords Okay boys, got some glass cleaner, which actually I'm going to use now, and we've got the backlight spray. Took me ages to find this, I asked the woman, I asked the woman in there, I said, do Halford still do the, um, the back, like the lens tint? And she's like, no, no, I've never seen it, it takes me to the, to the spray paint, so I'm like, no, it's not going to be, yeah, this is spray. And, um, and then I mentioned it at the till, because I thought, you, I don't know if you know what you're doing. Mentioned it at the till and the other guy said, yeah, yeah, it's in a cabinet. So, got that, thought I was going to have to cancel the video and wait for it, wait to do it tomorrow. But, we got that so I can go home now and um, spray my lights. But first things first, I'm going to do my dashboard, so I'll catch up with you in a minute. Had to quickly swing into Tesco's to get some uh, butties. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to eat and then I'm going to go straight home. And we're gonna start tinting my light, so yeah, I'll um, catch up with you in a minute. Okay, so got it in the garage. I'm ready to get started. Actually, no, I'm not. I forgot the spray. I'll get that in a minute. But so, first things first. This is your boot. Obviously, you want to come in, take this panel off, and just pretty much remove all your shit from here. Uh, that should be okay. And then you want to kind of. It's going to be hard to do one end, but just help this panel out of the way I'll put the um, I'll put the phone down and see uh, see what I can do so <clears throat> this one is really simple you literally pull that off you've got the that bolt there unscrew that unscrew that and your light pops right off. This one has been a bit of a bitch to get out, but I'll work on that one in a minute. That'll be fine. Right, okay, so <clears throat> a little bit of uh, progress, I'll show you how we're doing. Got this light off and this light off. Sorry about the lighting in here, by the way, there's like literally no lights or anything. So, yeah, you, had, you should have something looking like this. You should have like a, a hole there, and obviously that there, <clears throat> and same there. 
This comes out, you just gotta jiggle it up and down and it will eventually come out. It's quite solid, so don't be afraid to break it. Um, and yeah, so here are the lights, which you've got to clean first before you spray, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna get cleaning them now and uh, yeah. Right, okay, so now we're getting to the good part. This is when you spray your lights. What I've done is used a bit of glass cleaner to just buffer up the lights a bit, um, get them shiny. So obviously what you're gonna do, shake your can. And uh, get ready to apply your first coat. So, you wanna hold the can as much, like as, as upright as possible and quite literally just go go over it and do lines like that but not too much but then again not too little and you can leave that to dry and that's that's pretty much what you want to do for uh, every single coat just keep doing that until you want them uh, as dark as possible. So uh, I'll show you in better lighting, as you can see. That's one coat and I'll get the original just to show you how much difference that's made already. Not that much, but kind of, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, I'll let that dry and then show you again one more time on the or the light. Right, number two. Just the exact same again, but the other way. Just remember to um, remember to not miss any because if you miss any, it'll come up as little blotches of paint as if someone's gone like like dabbed it with a paintbrush. So that's just one thing to remember. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave these two to dry, give them another coat, and then uh, I'll check back in. But we're making progress. We're making progress. Right. So it's been about an hour since I um, since I recorded the last clip and I've gave them about five coats so this is five coats as you can see they're getting there quite dark this one's a bit dark because it's had an extra coat than that one but you get where I'm coming from hopefully I'm going to make them um, fit in with the, the paintwork so I'd say probably another two or three coats and I'll be done so I'll check back in when I've done that. So that is them all done and dusted. I'm going to put them back on the car now and I'll show you how they look. So yeah, two seconds. So just finished fitting the lights and I am liking it a lot. I think it looks really stealthy and just adds a whole different kind of look to the car. Um, I could have gone darker, but I want to. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. Sorry, let me just see how close it is to the paint. See, it's not that far. I just started doing it. I don't want to void my insurance because, say, someone rear-ended me, they can sit there and say, "Oh, well, I didn't see him because he had his lights tinted," which means my insurance would be like completely void. Um, and I don't want to do that, so I thought I'd keep them, keep them so you know that there's lights there. If you know what I mean, I'm not, I'm not literally blacking them out. I'm, I'm, I'm heavily smoking them. But yeah, anyway, if you did like the video, please be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more videos very soon. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.